for you the three of cups the king of cups and the king of swords so there could have been a male water sign or air sign with these two kings here in your life capricorn that you were not very happy with in the month of january or even beforehand um somebody that <clears throat> in the past you had celebrations with and parties and socializing and that seems to have ceased in in the month of January going into February. I'm gonna clarify these right away. Yeah, with the the eight of cups on that, you were moving on from these relationships or projects even or or people in your immediate environment, whether that be in your professional world, your home life, because this is all pointing to that. So many endings for so many signs coming out of January, and it very well could have a lot to do with the eclipse energy. I'm actually recording this on January 31st that we just had on the Leo Aquarian access, which would have happened in your second and eighth house Capricorn, if you're rising or in your solar chart. So these, these partnerships or projects in your life that once felt emotionally abundant, you weren't getting the same satisfaction from in that part of your life anymore. And I'm wondering who it was, maybe a past karmic relationship or maybe even a friend, a water sign friend that you had some, a lot of interaction with. It doesn't feel like a very, very old relationship or project. Um, maybe it was a little bit short-lived and I feel like it's just, it's not bringing you the, you the pleasure that it once did and this new person in, in air sign, perhaps male, has come in into your life to, maybe it's a third party, uh, Capricorn, to show you that those projects or the relationship with the water sign, it's, it's giving you some emotional turmoil as to what the right move is coming out of January. So I feel like you're in process of considering finalizing a piece of your life and I want to see what the energies say uh, in moving into February. The Ten of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and the Page of Swords. So I feel like you're coming to a firm decision as to what you are going to be doing in these partnerships. And again, it could be professional or home life since this is a general reading Capricorn and really being clear on what it is that you want to create in your life with the, with the 10 of cups here and also the queen of cups. And I'll just bring them all up. The page of swords having a, a very deterministic and maybe newly for you. Um, I want to say determination and conviction as to what you stand for in projects and relationships in the month of February and not settling for anything less than complete satisfaction in what you're aiming for in those areas of life. 
So I'll pull some clarifiers, the Knight of Cups, the Four of Wands, and the Hierophant. Interesting. Oh my goodness. So let's talk about these first. <clears throat> so I feel these energies, the Knight of Cups on the Ten of Cups is pulling down this situation up here, a continuation from January Capricorn that this fire sign male sort of threw you in a tizzy about. And they're walking away. And it could be a job opportunity, but with all the cups, I, I'm... I'm really getting that it's in your personal life on some level. And it could be family related. Um, so a cousin or a brother or an uncle or somebody that you see in your everyday life um, that you... That's not giving you the satisfaction that they once did. And where that's coming from with the Four of Wands and the Queen of Cups is you're wanting, you're wanting something more, again, emotionally fulfilling for you in that way. And something more solid in the foundation that... You can rest easy at night and know in your heart that this is the right choice. And I feel like the this relationship up here is needing to end in order for you to bring this renewal and create a better foundation for yourself, Capricorn, in your immediate environment. So... Because with the, with the Page of Swords and the Hierophant Reverse, I feel like you're, you're going to be questioning your value system and whether or not you're doing the right thing. And I'm going to open up the bottom of this reading to see if that will illuminate that any further. So the Empress, the Nine of Cups, and the Three of Wands. the six of wands in reverse, the five of wands in reverse, and the divine lover's card. Make sure you can see those sort of down in the corner. Put them up a bit. Capricorn. So... Here with the Empress and the, the Six of Wands in reverse, when I, when I said that this person was leaving your life, I feel like they are, but sort of in a sulking way. <laughs> and I, I think that that goes with the territory of them being a water sign and their cup being upside down here and to them feeling a little bit defeated in, in regards to it not flourishing in the way that you had orig originally intended with this person to create something beautiful and long lasting. I feel like you're you're both coming to the conclusion that you put your effort in in certain ways and the little squabbles aren't we're not fulfilling your inner desires and you're both tired of fighting over silly little things and 
I feel like it's a mutual decision to to put a closure on on these either projects again or these partnerships in your life. Um, especially with the the three of wands with the divine love card in reverse, it just it didn't pan out, and that's okay. Um, to come together and have honest communication between the two of you and be like, look, I love you, I respect you, I, I love you enough to share with you my true feelings because they deserve that and you deserve that too. There's complete, unabashed honesty with one another to to let each other go to explore new horizons and new horizons that will be more suitable to the people that you've become now, Capricorn. So I'm wondering if this is resonating for you. Um, that felt, especially with the cups and all the cups and the, the three of the three of swords right in the beginning, Capricorn, it felt more like a love reading than a general reading, but that's okay. Um, I hope you got something out of it. I'm also going to pull you a wild Kuan Yin Oracle card by Alana Fairchild and give you a little bit more guidance and messages for the month of February. What does Wild's Kuan Yin Oracle have to say? This one. Grandmother of love, granddaughter of life. It's very fascinating artwork. The number three. So that, this message might be more towards the end of February since it's a three. You're an old soul with much wisdom in you. You know how to learn from experience and grow stronger and more loving, even through life's challenges. Trust yourself in life. You are growing now towards your divine destiny. You may need guidance to find your way through unfamiliar situations as you broaden your horizons now. Allow those who are wise like you to be your companions as you choose not to believe in the voices of fear. So, yeah, moving into unfamiliar situations, I feel. And this is another three on the granddaughters that these two cards are speaking to one another. And... I feel like you have your ancestors in your corner, Capricorn, cheering you on through the month of February. So call on them in quiet moments or moments where you feel unsure and utilize their companionship and utilize their support system because they're there to help you. They're there to guide you. And all you have to do is ask and, and physically speak it out loud in your prayers. It's more clear to them when you're resonating in, in tone of voice and the vibration of speaking it out loud. And they can, they can pick up on your prayers, I feel, more easily that way. So don't be afraid to call in your posse of ancestors who are in your corner for the month of February, Capricorn. 